For this video on finding trig ratios, what we're going to focus on, again, we don't have anything new to learn. We still have the trig ratios and the reciprocals. But what's going to change now is the given information. All right. So in this first problem here, they're giving us a particular trig function and what it is equal to. And then they want us to find another trig function. All right, as we've been doing with all these, the first thing we want to do is sketch it so we can look at it. Remember also, we've got to know our trig ratios. All right, so if this is ABC, they give me the cosecant. Now, I know that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So if sine, and I'm going to call this theta, this angle down here, theta, you have to pick a theta, okay? Uh, but um, if the cosecant is the reciprocal of sine and sine is opposite over hypotenuse, then cosecant would be hypotenuse over opposite. So I'm able to use that given information to fill in pieces on our sides. Now, I don't know side B, and in this case, because I'm going to find the cotangent of that angle theta, I just automatically am going to call angle A theta here, okay? So I'm going to need to find what side B is in order to be able to find the cotangent. I know that the Pythagorean theorem tells me that 5 squared is equal to B squared plus 3 squared, or 25 is equal to B squared plus 9, Subtract 9, 16 is b squared, so then I know that b is equal to 4, all right? I can tell from the cotangent of theta, if the tangent is opposite over adjacent, then the cotangent is adjacent over opposite. So the cotangent of theta is going to be adjacent 4 over opposite 3, and I'm done. Okay, let's take a look at this next one. Let me sketch a little picture here. We're going to call this triangle ABC still. But remember, theta is we're identifying as angle A. Okay? So from theta, they give me the cosine. I know that the cosine is adjacent to radical 13 over hypotenuse 13. They want me to find the cosecant. I know that the cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So I need to know what A is here because sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which means the cosecant would be hypotenuse over opposite. So I'm going to do the Pythagorean theorem, and I've got 13 squared is equal to A squared plus Remember our little trick here. This is really 4 times 13 or the square root of 52. So this tells me 169 is equal to a squared plus 52. And if I subtract 169 minus 52, I get uh, a squared is 117, or A would be the square root of 117. I don't think nothing's coming to mind um, for how I could simplify that. Let me try a couple here. Um, what about 9? Yeah. So I can simplify this to, this would be 9 times 13, or 3 radical 13. Okay, so cosecant is what we've been asked to find. I know that the cosecant of theta would be hypotenuse over opposite. So this would be 13 over 3 square root of 13, which would give us 13 radical 13 over, let's see, 3 times the square root of 169, which would be 13. So that would be 
3 times 13 is 39. And then I can simplify this to the square root of 13 over 3. All right, just simplifying fractions. Some of us got a lot of work to do with that. All right, let's try this next one here. Got a right triangle. I know I have a right triangle, guys, because they're giving me trig functions or reciprocal trig functions. And trig, for where we're at right now, involves right triangles. So they say the cosine of theta, let's call that theta, is 4 over 5, adjacent over hypotenuse. They want me to find the tangent, which means I need to know side A. So Pythagorean theorem, I've got 5 squared equals A squared plus 4 squared, or 25 equals A squared plus 16. Subtract 16, 9 is A squared, so I can determine that A is 3. I'm ready to find the tangent of theta, and the tangent of theta would be opposite over adjacent, or 3 over 4. I'm done. Let's try one more like this. Okay, let's draw my right triangle here. Call it ABC. And we said that we were going to make A theta. So the cosine of theta is 5 over 6. They want me to find the secant of theta. Well, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse, so secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. I've got everything. I'm ready to go. The secant of theta is equal to 6 over 5, and that's it. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck to you.